okay so in this uh, lecture we are going to discuss about uh, how to solve non homogeneous recurrence relation we are going to take uh, some particular cases of non homogeneous recurrence relations and try to uh, find the solutions of non homogeneous recurrence relations so first of all if you have a recurrence relation which is of the form an is uh, equal to c1 an minus 1 plus dot dot ck ak my a n minus k plus some f of n where f is some function of n where f is some function of n then this is called a non homogeneous recurrence relation so if that fn factor is there then uh, that recurrence relation is called non homogeneous recurrence relation if this fn factor is not there suppose this fn is not there then whatever remains is called as the homogeneous recurrence relation okay so now uh, what we will do is we will always so when we want to solve such types of recurrence relations non homogeneous recurrence relation we will we first usually concentrate only on the homogeneous part we only con concentrate on this part okay and uh, then we will we find the initial um, homogeneous parts solution which is called as the ANH, which is usually which is written as ANH. What is ANH representing? ANH means it is the solution of the only homogeneous part. I will not look at FN at that time. And in the second part, we will cons consider FN, and we using FN we will write a solution which is called as a particular solution. So which will we will denote by ANP. So P stands for particular. So we will write it. when we will look at fn and we will try to write a guess a solution which is called as anp and then we will add both of these and that will become what that will become our final solution of the recurrence relation which is a given non homogeneous recurrence relation now what we will do is we will first consider some very simple cases of fn and we will try to uh, write some results here the proofs are not in the syllabus right now so case let me say case 1 fn is equal to bt n raised to t plus dot dot plus b2 n square plus b1 n plus b0 s raised to n where s is not root of the characteristic equation or oxidative equation of the homogeneous recurrence relation then a n p is equal to p t n raised to t plus dot dot p two n square plus p one n plus p not 
S raised to n, where P naught, P one up to P t are constants. What is the particular solution? What is the particular solution of the non-homogeneous recurrence relation an equal to 5 an minus 1 minus 6 an minus 2 plus n square initial conditions are not given to us so we just have to write the particular solution now obviously what i will do is i will just consider the homogeneous recurrence relation so what is the homogeneous recurrence relation here so it is an so this is the extra factor right so it is an equal to 5an minus 1 plus 6an minus 6an minus 2 this is the homogeneous recurrence relation and then as usual we put an equal to r raised to n to get so when you put r raised to n you get a quadratic equation which is r square equal to 5r minus 6 after cancelling the n minus 2 -th power after cancellations i'll just write cancellations now you know what type of cancellations are going to do r raised to n minus 2 power will get cancelled so r square minus 5r plus 6 is 0 and therefore r minus 2 into r minus 3 is equal to 0 and therefore r is equal to 2 and 3 are the roots of the characteristic equation this is the characteristic equation it is also sometimes called as auxiliary equation so then what is the solution now this is a homogeneous part so i'll write a and h is equal to c1 2 raised to n plus c2 3 raised to n so this is was r is having the value 2 and 3 so this becomes the solution of the homogeneous part okay now let us go to the non-homogeneous part so here What you have is fn is given to be how much the non-homogeneous component in the recurrence relation is n square okay and you look at uh, what you do is you try to compare this fn with this particular expression that i've given above what is that expression it is uh, bt bt n power t plus dot 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 plus b2 n square plus b1 n plus b naught into s raised to n into s raised to n okay so compare this fn and this fn so on comparing What you get is this fn can be written as 1n square because you have only n square, right? Plus 0n, there is no n, there is no constant, so b0 is also constant, and all others are 0. multiplied by 
some power of n now that is in n square there is no power of n multiplied to anything it is not n square into 5 raised to n if it is n square into 5 raised to n i would have written this 5 raised to n over here okay if it is n square into 3 raised to n then i i would have written n square into 3 raised to n outside but here to this n square there is nothing multiplied over here so i can write it as 1 raised to n Right. Always remember, if there is nothing, something given here, you can always write it as 1 power n. And therefore, when I compare, what will I get? I understand that b0 is 0. b1 is also 0. b2 is 1. s is how much? s is 1. I don't care about these people. After, once you are non-zero, so this is 0, this is 0. And then this is non-zero. So I will stop here. I will not count. I will not find B, B3, B4 because all are zero. I don't care. Right. So this means that only B2 is 1, B0 is 0, and B1 is also 0. And S is equal to how much? S is equal to 1. Now, after doing this, now I can write what is my PT. What is PT? In the above notes, we have written what is the formula for PT. In this PT, only this in the, in the particular solution only bt gets changed to pt pt n raised to t plus p2 n square plus p1 n plus p naught into s raised to n so when can i use this formula i can use this formula if s is not root of the characteristic equation this is case one right in case one what should happen s is not the root of characteristic now who is my s my s is one is s equal to one a root of the characteristic equation where is the characteristic equation the characteristic equation was this and what are the roots of characteristic equation the roots of characteristic equation are two and three so s is 1, so s is not equal to 2 and s is not equal to 3. So s is not the root of the characteristic equation. This means that we are in case 1. Now I hope you have an idea that what is case 2? In case 2, s will be a root of characteristic equation. Okay. So, so currently we are working with the case 1. So this means that what I will do is um, in this case my a and p will become again i'm going to go till only b0 b1 and b0 only this much so what will i get when i write a particular solution i'm going to write only p0 then i'm going to write p1 n and third i'm going to write p2 n square okay into s raised to n what is s s is 1 on this what are p naught p1 and p2 and p naught p1 and p2 are constants so this completes the solution of this question because in this question we are just supposed to find what is the particular solution okay let me take one more problem of this kind suppose i am having a recurrence relation n is equal to say i'm keeping the homogeneous part same 5 n minus 1 minus 6 n minus 2 plus n cube plus n square plus 3 okay i'm not giving you the initial conditions write a and p so it is again easy now so what i will do is I know what is the characteristic equation. The characteristic equation is r square minus 5r minus plus 6 is equal to 0. This is the same as above equation, homogeneous part. And therefore, the roots will come out to be how much? The roots are 2 and 3. And therefore, the homogeneous solution a and h will become c1 2 raised to n plus c2 3 raised to n. This is the homogeneous part. 
now I will look at fn what is fn fn is n cube plus n square plus 3 and this I can write as 1 n cube plus 1 n square plus 0 n plus 3 into 1 raised to n so when I compare I have it with b3 n cube plus b1 n square plus b0 n sorry b2 n square plus b1 n plus b0 into s raised to n I understand that the values of b0 is 3 b1 is 0 b2 is 1 b3 is also 1 and s is 1 s equal to 1 is not the root of characteristic equation because the roots of characteristic equation are only 2 and 3 therefore by case 1 now I hope you understand when will I use case 1 if it is not the root by case 1 the particular solution a and b is of the form p3 n cube plus p2 n square plus p1 n plus p0 into s raised to n what is s s is equal to 1 so a and p s is 1 so this entire quantity will become 1 so pn so a and p will become p3 n cube plus p2 n square plus p1 n plus p on pn p0 is the particular solution where p0 p1 p2 p3 can be determined using initial conditions so now we will solve this recurrence relation so solve an equal to an minus 1 plus 2 raised to n where a naught is equal to 0 sorry a naught is equal to 1 so clearly this recurrence relation is a non-homogeneous recurrence relation because of the factor 2 raised to n so this is a non-homogeneous recurrence relation what is fn equal to here fn is 2 power n so what is a homogeneous recurrence relation what is the corresponding homogeneous recurrence relation it is a n equal to a n minus 1 I will omit this part for the time being so when I put a n equal to r raised to n I will get r raised to n equal to r raised to n minus 1 and then r raised to n minus 1 cancels and you will just get r equal to 1 is the root of characteristic equation and therefore the homogeneous solution a n h will become c1 r raised to n which is c1 1 raised to n which is just c1 so the homogeneous part is giving you just c1 the c1 is a constant okay this c1 we will not determine now because we want to solve the complete non-homogeneous equation this c1 if you find it will give you wrong it will give you errors because we are considering only the homogeneous part so leave the c1 as it is now compare fn with what is fn fn is 2 raised to n this fn can be written as what can be written as b0 into s raised to n we don't need b1 n b2 n because there is no n n square n cube nothing is there so we just need to 
drop all the terms bt bt minus 1 up to b b2 b1 everything is to be dropped and we are just left with b0 which is a constant into s raised to n which if you compare this it will look like 1 into 2 raised to n so this means that b0 is 1 and s is equal to 2 so s is equal to 2 is not the root of characteristic equation so we can switch to case 1 the particular solution is is now pt n raised to t up to p1 n plus p0 into s raised to n but p1 p2 p3 will not come into the picture because b1 b2 b3 are not coming into the picture so the particular solution will just have p0 into s raised to n which is p0 into 1 raised to n which is just p0 so what is anp anp is just p0 Now what I will do is I will substitute this a and p in the given recurrence solution. Because it's a particular solution, it will satisfy the original relation, right? Substitute a and p in the non-homogeneous recurrence relation. Since it satisfies, since it is a particular solution, it satisfies the recurrence relation so what is the recurrence relation a n equal to a n minus 1 plus 2 power n what is a n a n now here instead of a n i'm going to put a n p a n p a n p okay I'm sorry, I'm sorry, here I wrote, wrote s equal to 1, s is how much, s is 2, huh? 2 raised to n, a and p is 2 raised to n, okay, so wherever there's a n, I'm going to put a and p, so this means a and p satisfies means a and p will equal to a n minus 1 p plus 2 power n, this means that a and p satisfies the above recurrence relation so what is a and p this is a and p so here a and p will become p naught into 2 raised to n is equal to a n minus 1 p wherever there is n put n minus 1 so p naught into 2 raised to n minus 1 plus 2 raised to n. Who is the lowest power here? Lowest power is 2 raised to n minus 1. We want to delete that to lowest power. We want to omit it. So we will divide it, divide the entire equation by 2 raised to n minus 1 because it is the lowest power. So what will I be left? P naught into 2 raised to n divided by 2 raised to n minus 1 equal to p0 into 2 raised to n minus 1 upon 2 raised to n minus 1 plus 2 raised to n upon 2 raised to n minus the standard way to do this so it is 2p0 is equal to p0 plus 2 and therefore i will get 2p0 minus p0 is 2 and therefore i got p0 is 2 so the value of p0 Actually, we could find without using any initial condition. We just substituted the, the the particular solution in the recurrence relation and we got the value of P0. Therefore, what is our particular solution? We know that our particular solution was given by what? It was given by P0 into 2 raised to n. So it will now become 2 into 2 raised to n because P0 is 2. So I got the particular solution without using any initial condition and that particular solution is 2 raised to n plus 1 because 2 into 2 raised to n is 2 raised to n plus 1 we are fortunate that we could simplify it here otherwise we would have kept it as it is and therefore our general solution is an 
equal to a n particular a n homogeneous plus a n particular and for a n is equal to homogeneous solution was c1 into 1 raised to n i suppose it was c1 into 1 raised to n which is actually just c1 right and particular solution we have found out is how much it is 2 raised to n plus 1 and now you know how can i find the value of c1 I will just put n equal to 0 and we are given that initial condition a0 is how much a0 is 1 so this is a0 equal to c1 plus 2 raised into 2 raised to 0 plus 1 so this is 1 is equal to c1 plus 2 and therefore my value of c1 turns out to be minus 1 And therefore, the general solution an is equal to. I'm going to substitute it here in star. I will get c1. c1 is minus 1 plus 2 raised to n plus 1. So this becomes the solution of the non-homogeneous recurrence relation.